hey guys welcome back to my channel um in today's video we are not going to actually be making a garment but we are going to be learning how to make the pineapple stitch this stitch can be a little bit challenging and confusing if you're working with it for the very first time but um i'm going to make it a little bit simpler for you this is my version one of my versions of uh, the pineapple stitch how i went about it and i would like to show you how i found um an easy way to maneuver so uh the pineapple stitch can be worked in several different ways you can make a very small pineapple like this it doesn't matter it can be a very small or a very huge pineapple everything starts from uh, the base of the pineapple the foundation that you lay for the pineapple so i'm going to walk you through step by step on how i achieved this particular garment so um this can be a shawl for those who are planning to do a triangular shawl and i'm going to point out the tips and tricks to consider while um, making the pineapple stitch so uh you're going to need any yarn of your choice i, I use robin and i use the double strand and this is just a demonstration you can actually use any yarn of your choice and then for the hook i use the 5.5 millimeter crochet hook so that my um, stitches were a bit more visible and so that the explanation can be simpler so you can use any hook any yarn you just grab whatever you have and jump into it so let's get started and see what we shall come up with okay so you're going to grab your hook i'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and whatever choice of yarn that you uh, choose to use so you're going to start off with a slip knot and you're going to make a chain of four one two three and four and now you're going to go into the very first chain that you made and you're going to place a double crochet so this will count as two double crochets because this chain counts as a double crochet so there's one two and then you're going to chain two and place two double crochets into that same exact chain and then you're going to chain two and then place two double crochets in the same exact chain so we have two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two two double crochets and now we're going to row two for row two you're going to chain three turn your work and into the very first chain to space you're going to go in there with two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so for this tutorial a shell is two double crochets chain two and two double crochets and now you're going to chain five and go into the next chain to space with a shell remember i told you a shell is two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so from this point onwards i'm going to be using shell so after this you're going to go into the very last stitch on top of it and place a double crochet so we've ended our row two remember we have a shell here a shell here a chain five here and then the boundary double crochets so this chain three counts as a double crochet and then we have this double crochet that ends the row that means we have a balanced piece what's happening on this side is the same thing that's happening on this side so we're going to chain three this is row three turn your work and you're going to place a shell into the very first shell okay and now you're going to chain two and go into the chain five space with a total of five double crochets one two three four and five okay and now you're going to chain two 
and go into the very last shell with a shell and then go into the very last stitch which is the chain three that counted as a double crochet and go on top of it with one double crochet so that's the end of row three we are going to row four we're going to chain three which counts as a double crochet turn your work and you're going to go into the very first shell with a shell two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets then you're going to chain two and this row here started the pineapple this one so uh, every time before you get to the pineapple section you're going to keep chaining two and then jump into the pineapple so there are two here there are two here so that means we have reached the pineapple right now so we chain two and then you're going to go into each and every stitch of the five double crochets with two double crochets so the very first one will get two double crochets the next one will get two double crochets the exact middle one will get three double crochets okay and then the last two will get two double crochets each. So in total, the middle section should have 11 double crochets. Here, should be having 11 double crochets. And then you're going to chain two and wind up your row as usual. Two double crochets. chain two and two more double crochets and then go into the very last stitch with a double crochet okay now that's the end of row four so we are going to row five row five starts the same exact way chain three turn your work place a shell into the very first shell okay and then you're going to chain two because I told you before you get to the pineapple section this is the pineapple bit uh, you always chain two and after the pineapple you also chain two and then jump into the very last part of the project so chain two go into the very first double crochet here with a single crochet chain five go into the next stitch with a single crochet chain five go into the next stitch with a single crochet sorry and we're going to repeat this until all the 11 stitches are done chain five single crochet into the next stitch chain five single crochet chain five single crochet Continue this until um, all the 11 stitches are done. Single crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And I'm in the very last stitch. I'll place my single crochet. And at this point, you're going to have a total of 10 loops in the middle, 10 chain five loops in the middle. And then you're going to chain two and then wind up your row as usual. So one shell into the last shell, chain two, two double crochets. So I've placed my shell there and I'll go into the very last stitch with one double crochet. So that's the end of our row five. So we're going to row six and for row six, 
we are going to start our row chain three one shell into the very first shell okay then you're going to chain two and jump into the very first loop you're going to just go around the loop not in any stitch just go into the loop and place a single crochet chain five single crochet into the next loop chain five single crochet into the next loop chain five single crochet 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 chain five and single crochet into the very last loop so we are done with our pineapple that means we chain two and then end our row with a shell into the very last shell and then one double crochet into the very last stitch so that's how your work should look like so we are going to row seven chain three turn your work place a shell into the very first shell and then chain two and jump into the pineapple so one loop into the very first loop chain five single crochet sorry i meant one single crochet into the very first loop chain five single crochet into the next loop and continue this until all your loops are finished so you should notice that the number of loops keeps reducing as you go ahead the very first one was 10 then 9 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it will be eight, seven, six. They'll keep reducing as you keep working. So continue to chain five and then one single crochet into the next loop until all the loops are done. Okay, that's your last loop and then you're going to chain two and finish up your row as usual so a shell into the very last shell and then one double crochet into the very last stitch now we're going to row eight you're going to chain three turn your work and we're going to be doing something different i'll be filming this whole process because it can get a little confusing so um we are on row eight let me see uh, one two three four five six seven. yeah row eight you're going to go into the very first shell with two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets so this is going to give room for another pineapple to bud so um at this point we are splitting for another pineapple so we do two chain two two chain two and two more so after this you're going to chain two and then jump into the loops 
with one single crochet chain five one single crochet and continue that until all the chain five uh, loops are done Okay, so we are done with our chain five loops. Now you're going to chain two, and we're going to do the same exact thing that we did at the beginning of our row. So two double crochets into the next shell. Chain two, two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets into the same exact space. So this is what we have. And then we go into the very last double crochet with a double crochet and that's it for row eight and now we're going to row nine you're going to chain three turn your walk and now we have two chain two spaces we no longer have a single shell we have two spaces so we're going to go into the very first space with a shell Okay, so we have a shell in the very first space. Now you're going to chain five and then go into the next chain to space with a shell. Like that. And then you're going to chain two. And jump into the chain five loops with one single crochet chain five one single crochet chain five one single crochet until all the loops are done So the loops are finished. You can see the pineapple has started uh, being more clear. And now we are going to chain two because we are done with the pineapple section. Chain two and then jump into the, the very first chain two space with uh, two double crochets chain two and two double crochets which is a shell okay and then you're going to chain five and then a shell into the next shell So after your last shell, you're going to go into the very last stitch with one double crochet. Okay. So we're going to row 10. You're going to chain three. I want to point out a few things. When you see something like this, a shell, a chain five space and a shell, you should be seeing it at this point. The pineapple stitch is a repetitive uh, stitch. The things keep repeating themselves. You just need to know where you're, where you're at so that uh, you know what to do. So you can see the same thing happening at row two. A shell, a chain five space and then a shell this uh, when you see something like this you follow the next row which is row three and you know exactly what to do at this point so we are at row 10 and row 10 is going to be guided by row three because row nine was uh, the same almost the, um similar to row two 
so once you see something like this happening you follow the next row for the next uh, row that you're going to work on so we are row 10 you're going to go into the very first shell with a shell like that and then you're going to chain two and then remember I told you once we did this we were creating room for another pineapple so since this is a chain five space and we had a chain five space at this point and the next row we placed a total of five uh, double crochets we're going to do the same here So we've placed our five double crochets. After placing your five double crochets in the chain five space, we go back to the, uh, you're going to chain two. Remember I told you every time you get done with a pineapple and before the pineapple, we chain two. So we have our two here, chain two, pineapple, which starts with a five double crochets, then chain two and then go into the next um, shell with a shell okay and then you're going to chain two because now we've reached another pineapple here so after your chain of two you're going to go into the loops with single crochets chain five Okay, so we are done with our loops of uh, the five chains and now uh, you're going to chain two and go into the next shell with a shell. So two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So we are done with our very first shell you're going to chain two because now we are going to start on the pineapple on this side just like we did here after your chain of two you're going to go into the chain five space with a total of five double crochets one two three four five so i have my five double crochets you're going to chain two and then jump into the very last shell with a shell and then one double crochet into the very last stitch so that marks the end of row 10 so so far we have one big pineapple that is shrinking and then we have two pineapples that are building so in total we have three pineapples you'll see what i mean later you're going to chain three turn your work this is row 11. uh you're going to go into the very first shell with a shell And then you chain two because we've reached this pineapple here we're going to go into the very first double crochet with two double crochets and then two double crochets into the second and into the exact middle um, double crochet which is the third you're going to place a total of three double crochets I hope you're familiar with this by now because we did it at row at row four. We did that same exact thing at row four. 
in order to achieve a total of 11 double crochets. We are doing it this, uh, again at this point. So two double crochets in the last two, and then uh, three double crochets in the middle one, and then two two double crochets in the first two. So that's a total of 11 double crochets, and we see that happening at row four. So you're going to chain two because you're done with the pineapple section, and then you go into the shell with a shell. Okay, and then you're going to chain two because now we've reached the middle pineapple, and then single crochet into the loop. Chain five, single crochet into the next loop. Chain five, single crochet into the next loop. Chain five, single crochet into the next loop. Chain five, and single crochet into the last loop. You can see uh, the number of loops keeps reducing. Now we have only four in the middle. We'll keep reducing until the pineapple shape is achieved. So after this, you're going to chain two because you're done with that pineapple section and then go into the next shell with a shell so two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets like that and then you're going to chain two because we've reached this next pineapple and you're going to do the same exact thing we are going to grow from five double crochets to 11 i hope you still know how to do that so two in the first, two double crochets in the first, two double crochets in the second, three double crochets in the third, two double crochets in the fourth, and then um, two double crochets in the fifth. So that will be a total of 11 double crochets. And then you're going to chain two and wind up your row as usual. So a shell. And then go into the very last stitch with a double crochet. So that's the end of row 11. So we are now moving to row 12. We are going to chain three, turn our work, place a shell into the very first shell. Okay. And then you chain two. And then you're going to go into the 11 double crochets. Remember what we did at row five. After the 11 double crochets, we started creating chain 5 loops. So um, let's see, after your chain 2, you're going to go into the very first double crochet of the pineapple with one single crochet, chain 5, one single crochet into the next stitch, chain 5, one single crochet into the next stitch chain five and continue to do this until all the um, 11 double crochets are done so you have a total of 10 chain five loops just like we did on row five And now we are done with our 10 loops. You're going to chain two 
and then place a shell into the next shell and then you're going to chain two go into the chain five loops with one single crochet chain five one single crochet until all the loops are finished and the moment you're done with that after your loops you're going to chain two chain two and then go into the next shell with a shell so two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets and then you're going to chain two and now we are on the next um, pineapple you're going to go into each and every stitch with one single crochet and chain five in the middle just like we did at the beginning of the row so go ahead and wind up your row okay one two three four five so i'll meet you at this point when you're done with your loops you're going to chain two and then place your last shell and your last double crochet here all right so we are done with our row 12 and now um row 13 starts the same exact way chain three turn your work and you're going to uh place a shell into the very first shell like that then you're going to chain two and jump into the chain five loops with single crochets so i think now you're familiar with this chain five single crochet so continue to do this until all the loops are finished so when your loops are finished you're going to chain two and then go into the next shell with a shell Like this and then you're going to chain two because now we've reached this pineapple in the middle and then single crochet into the next loop chain five single crochet into the next loop chain five single crochet into the next loop and then you're going to chain two because the loops are done then place a shell in this shell and then you're going to chain two and go into the loops of the next pineapple and you're going to do the same exact thing as you did here single crochet chain five single crochet and repeat this all the way across so when you're done with your loops here you're going to chain two and then go into the very last shell of your row and place a shell and then go into the very last stitch and place a double crochet so every row starts with a double crochet and ends with a double crochet either in form of a double crochet or in form of a chain three doesn't matter so we're going to row 14 and we're going to chain three turn our work and uh, we're going to start with a shell into the very first shell like that and then you're going to chain two then single crochet into the next loop So go ahead and keep chaining five and single crochet into the next loop until all the loops are finished.
so our loops are done at this point and we're going to chain two and jump into the next shell with a shell okay and now um, we're going to chain two and go into the next loop with a single crochet chain five and then single crochet into the next loop you can see now we have only one chain five loop for our middle uh, pineapple and now you're going to chain two and go into the next shell with a shell that and then you're going to chain two and go into the next uh, pineapple and start creating those chain five loops chain five single crochet into the next loop chain five single crochet into the next loop chain five single crochet So go ahead and finish up your row. I guess you know how. After your loops, you're going to chain two after your pineapple section, place a shell, and then one last double crochet at the end. All right, so we are done with row 14 and we are going to row 15. And at row 15, we are going to start uh, preparing for our next pineapple. So you're going to chain three, turn our work. And uh, remember when you're starting to prepare for a pineapple, the very first uh, shell gets two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. That will leave room for two shells at this point with a chain five space. Uh, something that's going on around here. I hope you remember how to do that and some of you may wonder how I determine which spot uh, f uh, Should have the Next pineapple. So this is very simple to determine This depends on your pineapple stitch this is mine and I told you at the beginning that there are so many ways to do the pineapple stitch so for me, this is what I follow for this particular one because I've worked on several different ones. And for this one, we have row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we split for the next pineapple, just like what we've done at row 15. But what I follow is, uh, the moment I have three rows of five, uh, five chain loops so the first row of five chain loops is a row a row five this one that has chain five single crochet chain five single crochet that is row five and then row six and then row seven so those are three rows of uh, chain five loops and then we split for another pineapple and then we also have this pineapple happening here. You can see we have a row 12. We have the chain five loops starting again. So that's row 12, row 13, and row 14. And at row 15, we split. I hope I'm clear on that. Uh, that's how to determine when to introduce a new pineapple in case maybe you're working on a shawl or anything big in a triangular shape because uh, you may decide to work on this project using a smaller hook so it may not grow as fast as this so I wanted to point out that 
tip so that you don't get confused on where to split for the next pineapple so every time you have three rows of chain five loops of your pineapple the fourth row should have a split three rows then the fourth one gets a split and then you introduce uh, two shells and then a chain five space and then the next row introduces the pineapple to start growing so after this split you're going to chain two jump into the next uh, chain five loop with a single crochet and by now you know how to go about this Okay, so I'm done with my last loop and now I'm going to chain two, jump into the next shell with a shell. So at this point you see, we only have one loop here. So I'm going to chain two, go into that loop with a single crochet and then chain two and go into the next shell with a shell. Okay. So at this point we've closed up the very first pineapple. We have a full pineapple because uh, we've closed it up at this point. So that's a row 15 and we're going to continue working our rows until we finish up. So after this shell we jump into the next pineapple and chain two. I'm going to do some more rows so that I explain to you what to do in the middle section because I'm done explaining what happens at the edges, but I haven't yet explained what happens in the middle section when um, the first pineapple is finished. So we're going to chain three, sorry, chain five single crochet into the next loop and finish up your row. So after your loops, you're going to chain two and go into the very last shell with a shell. And then go into the very last stitch with a double crochet. And then you're going to row 16. Sorry, 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 sorry. Here we had to split just like we did at the beginning of the row. So keep in mind, you should always do exactly what's on this side, onto this side, make sure you don't skip that. Otherwise you'll have to go back and uh, unravel your work. So after splitting here, we go into the very last um, stitch with a double crochet. Then we're going to row 16, you're going to chain three, turn your work, and now we are going to place a shell into this very first chain to space. And then you're going to chain five. And then go into the next chain to space with a shell. I hope you remember this. Uh, I hope this is familiar with you now. So chain two and two more double crochets. And that's the same exact thing that happens at this point. You can see it happening here. 
two shells separated by a chain five space and you can see it happening here so after this you're going to chain two sorry and uh, you're going to jump into your next pineapple so single crochet chain five until all the loops are done And then you're going to chain two once your loops are done you go into the next shell with a shell okay like that and now without chaining anything you're going to jump into the next shell with a shell So this is what we have at this point. That's how your work should look like. Now you're going to go ahead and finish up your row. Chain two, and then jump into the loops of the next uh, pineapple. Okay, so the loops are done now you're going to chain two and then place a shell into the very first chain two space cut chain five and then place a shell in the very last sh uh, chain two space And then go into the very last stitch with one double crochet, chain three, turn your work. Now we are through 17. Row 17 is almost going to be the same as row 10, which is this one, where we introduce the next pineapple. So chain three turn your work place a shell into the very first shell okay and then you're going to chain two and go into the chain five space with a total of five double crochets Okay, you can see this happening here. Five double crochets, five double crochets, five double crochets, five double crochets. So I hope now you're following the pattern. So after this, you're going to chain two, go into the next shell with a shell. Okay. And then you're going to chain two, go into the next uh, chain five loop with a single crochet, chain five, single crochet into the next loop, and finish up your loops. So once your loops are done, 
you're going to chain two and then go into the next shell with a shell that and you're going to chain two go into the next shell with a shell like that And then you're going to chain two and go into the next pineapple and create your loops until all the loops are done So when your loops are done, you're going to chain two, place a shell in the very first shell. So two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets. And then you're going to chain two and introduce another pineapple. So you go into the chain five space with five double crochets. Chain two plus a shell into the very last um, shell. Okay, and then you're going to go into the very last stitch with one double crochet. So this is it. So we are going to row 18, chain three, turn your work. And now you can follow along with whatever is already happening. So one shell into the very first shell. I'm going to be quick on this row, which is row 18. After your first shell, you're going to chain two, increase the five double crochets to 11 double crochets. I guess you still remember how to do that. Two in the first, two in the second, three in the third, two in the fourth, and two in the fifth. Okay. So now we have a total of 11 double crochets. You're going to chain two and then go into the next shell with a shell. And then jump into the loops after a chain of two. So chain two, single crochet into the next loop, chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet, chain five, single crochet. And now we're going to chain two plus a shell into the very next shell. And then you're going to chain five and then place a shell into the next shell and I think you're familiar with this point now because that will mean the next row 
when we get to this point on the next row we shall place a total of five double crochets at this point into that chain five space and we shall be creating another pineapple at this point so you're seeing the first pineapple close up you're seeing the next two pineapples as we go ahead you will notice that it's pushing inwards and then you can see the third pineapple and then you have the fourth pineapple starting up and then the fifth pineapple which is here and then now on the next row we shall be introducing the sixth pineapple so that's how you increase with the pineapple stitch i hope i was clear with my instructions i can't wait to see what you can do with this stitch because it's really beautiful and i can't say enough about this stitch because it creates very nice patterns it looks very complex but um, if you know what to do exactly what to do then it can be very easy to work with so that was my definition of uh, one of my pineapple stitches because I have different versions so this is one of them and I hope you guys liked this tutorial I can't wait to see you in my next one bye